friends, thanks for tuning in today. It is Grinch Day at school, so I got my green on. I just let the teachers tell me what I need to wear that day, you know? So the moment I got this PR package in on my doorstep, I thought, 12 new Super Lustrous lipsticks, I'm trying them on. There are also some liners in here. I haven't even touched those yet. That'll be for another day. But I was just thinking, this is a formula I love. I really support the Revlon Super Lustrous line. I love that there are certain shades that they have kept around forever, you know, like you got Fire and Ice and Cherries in the Snow. You name it down in the comments section, what is an iconic Revlon lipstick that you feel like has been around for ages and you can continue to find at Walmart? I think that's so cool. And so here, what they say they have are 12 new shades. Power to the Fearless Revlon Super Lustrous. Lipstick gives you iconic color that glides on effortlessly. This I'm not so sure they're saying 12 new iconic shades. Have they become iconic already? But yeah, I'm gonna try them all on for you because this is what you're apparently gonna start seeing in the drugstore and you can see if you like the shades or not. They're still all sealed up, so that'll slow me down a bit. I like how they package them in here because you can kind of see, well, you can drop them and you can also see what the overall color is that we're gonna be working with and I'm gonna try to go lightest to darkest. Also, if you're wondering, my base makeup today, I use the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I hadn't used this in a while. I'm the shade Cream Beige and it is really beautiful across the skin. It's a nice medium coverage, does have a little dewiness to it. And then I'm experimenting with a new concealer. It's the True Match Radiant Serum Concealer. More to come on that. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, but I plan to talk about it more in a future video. I set with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. That's for the under eye and T-zone. I set the remainder of the face with the Huda Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder. And then, my loves, I got this Laura Geller RSVP Ready Full Face Palette. Now, the IT Cosmetics Beauty Book, that never came out this year. Did you notice? On QVC, they never put out their little beauty book like this, but Laura Geller made one. She made one last year as well. And I gotta say, this one, even better. Problem is, I place my order, I wait, what, four to five days, I get it in, and by that time, it is totally sold out. What a bummer, right? Like, I don't even have the chance to talk about it before it's sold out, but it has cream bronzer, cream highlighter, several, like, concealer shades in here, three big pans of powder products. It's a setting powder, a blush, and a bronzer. I'm wearing... These two things, the cream bronzer and cream highlight. I'm wearing all three of these. And then I use some of those shadows for a look as well. And I really like how they did the shadows this year. This is shimmer, and then the outer two rows are matte. So just a real basic quick eye. I knew this lip try-on would take me some time, so I was trying to think, how can I kind of breeze through the look? I'll use that little palette. But yeah, sorry to say it's not available anymore. Put some of that Essence Lip Serum on. And I think I'm gonna wipe that away before we get going here. So Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks, they are a real classic lipstick formula, okay? And they do come out in different finishes. You will see on the bottom, they'll give you an indication of what the color is like just by that sticker, but then they'll say the finish, the number, and the name. So this one says new, and then it says Pearl 801 Afterglow. So when you're in the store, like you can kind of see through the window there, and you can see from the layout what the shade might be, but this is your indication of the shade, and then see if it says Pearl or Cream. I think they usually set up the matte ones in their own like special area and it looks like everything in this setup is gonna be a cream. They're all creams except for three. Okay, so this is one of the pearls. The lipstick packaging with a Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, always luxurious old school, doesn't seem to deviate too far from what we've always known these to be like. Very classic lipstick bullet. And yeah, they're a soft, creamy, traditional lipstick formula. We're not talking about something that's going to immediately set on the lips. We're not talking about these new age kind of uh, strategies for long wear. I mean, they're just a classic, creamy lipstick. So this again has that pearl finish, they say. Shade is Afterglow. Hmm, what do we think? I'm sensing a little sheerness in this color kind of a peachy nude. And whatever pearl is in there is extremely subtle. In fact, if it hadn't said pearl, I would just assume this was a cream, okay? So that's our first shade. It appears to be the lightest shade from the layout. I'm just so glad you guys are with me today. I love a good lip try on. This is called Daylight Delight. It's shade 802. And this they label as a cream formula. I need a little trash bag for my wrappings. <laughs> are you that person on Christmas who immediately grabs the um, trash bag for all the wrapping paper? Yeah, that stuff pops up in a hurry, doesn't it? Daylight Delight. I'm seeing more depth in this shade. Let's look at it compared to the last one. Yeah, definitely a little deeper. Um, let's pop it on. Ooh. 
getting kind of a your lips but better vibe if your lips are kind of like mine and they're not super rosy pigmented on their own but a little toasty as well hello every day mmm love that really feels moisturizing I love that classic feel of a Revlon super lustrous lipstick for my people concerned about scent not getting any smell off of these whatsoever so smooth creamy kind of deep and nude just the right amount of like dusty rose in there as well really like that shade I think as I try these on I'm gonna put them into various piles of really liked them not a huge fan and then we can discuss at the end a little debrief I'm not sure how dark this one's gonna be but it seemed at least in the neutral family it's a cream 803 this shade is called whiskey business We've heard a few things named that in the makeup world, haven't we? All right, let's see here. It does seem deeper than the last shade. There's the last one we put on. I'm seeing more rosiness, more depth. Incredibly wearable, just like a little more intense than the last shade. The nice thing about these two, it's really one swipe color. Um, I did feel like the first one I put on was a bit more sheer, but these last two creams have been really like, I think what you see is what you get with a swipe. So that's nice. I enjoy that shade. I could see me wearing that shade a lot. We've got another sort of soft looking shade in here called Laid Back Lilac and it's a cream. It's number 811. This I can tell at a glance it's cooler than what's been tried on so far. Like see the difference there? Cooler but it seems like about the same depth level. So let's see. Laid Back Lilac, huh? Of course it's not your traditional like light purple lilac but a definite coolness if you've been looking for a mid-tone kind of shade that's got a little rosiness in it but not something I'd describe as warm and toasty this looks like a good option I feel like that shade could work for me too and for some reason it just feels maybe even a little bit darker than the last one I put on and it might just be that it's got a little less warmth in it but that's pretty and what a beautiful like finish on the lips too see that gentle sheen I feel like so far Revlon's really trying to touch on those um, kind of middle of the road murky shades, those kind of in-betweener shades. Okay, the first one in line on the box, this is a pearl and it's called Dirty Shirley. This could be kind of corally, I'm not sure. It's always a little bit of a surprise because looking down in the well, it can be hard to see. And this is number 808, again, pearl, they say. And if you look really, really closely at a pearl lipstick, you can tell, you can tell that there's a little burliness, but it just doesn't always translate big time on the lips. Okay, ooh soft little sheen there for some reason these pearls just feel a bit more sheer than the creams but it's not bad it's not like I'm struggling I'm just saying as they initially go across they seem a little lighter somehow this I'm seeing a bit more shimmer in it than I did the first pearl we tried on it's coral but feels like a really wearable coral right not incredibly bright and the sheen in it is actually like a little bit of a golden tone I don't know if you can tell as you look at the front of the lipstick there as it catches the light can you see the actual golden shimmer and if you built it up I bet you'd see it maybe even more cool I think that's beautiful and fun and at a glance as you if you just glance quickly at my face would you think maybe even soft red with that that's pretty next one maybe getting a little more intense or deep this is a cream it's 807 and it's called fire peach do any of you really gravitate toward coral or peachy shades in the winter time because I feel like I really don't and I feel like in my heart I'm kind of a any makeup anytime kind of person but when it comes to like bright coral lipsticks I really save that for summer okay fire peach and this is a cream let's see what we got okay let's compare it to the last one Ooh, it does look like it's got more brightness to it this is the kind of shade when I first glanced at it coming out of the tube I thought that's something that could look chalky on my lips you know but there's enough moisture in these colors to where this shade, which is kind of uncommon for me, actually feels somewhat wearable. What do we think? Do we like it? It reminds me of something I have from Besame. Mm, really smooth, beautifully creamy. I don't know. You tell me, should I be reaching for a shade like this more often or not? I'm kind of, eh. Okay, here I think we have a pink. It's a cream formula called Candied Rose. It's number 805. And the reason why I'm saying the numbers for you is because sometimes on certain websites like Walmart, 
they won't always be good about giving a name to everything, but sometimes they will give a number. Gotta establish the full identity of these lipsticks, don't we? Oh, this wrapping is tough. This is looking a real classic right here, y'all. Classic rose. Again, candied rose, 805 cream formula. Oh yeah. There's your classic medium pink. I love that. I want to be in a shade like this more often, yes. Bringing a little more life and energy to the face, just a little step out from some of those neutrals. I think that's fun. I really like it. And again, it feels amazing. This cream formula, they've nailed it, of course. Everything else that's left looks really bright or dark. So I guess I'll go for the brightest thing right now. 806 Electric Melon. I think we have one more pearl floating around out there. I hope as a result of these new shades, they don't take away a bunch of old, really good shades, right? Electric Melon. Okay, what should we compare this to? Let's look at this up next to Fire Peach. We've got a lot more pink in this one. I feel like they would be released together in like a summertime collection. Here it is next to Dirty Shirley. Electric Melon, let's go. Woo! Mmm. Yes. Immediately, yes. If you want to feel kind of like Barbie, get a hot pink lip. I love that. And I think what I would do um, when I wear this is maybe pop on a coordinating lip liner, get it on all over the lips, allow this to hopefully have some better staying power because that's going to be the thing. A, a straight up cream lipstick is not going to have the most amazing staying power. Um, and with some deep dark shades, you're going to possibly be concerned about, is it going to drift outside the lips and be obvious? Your answers to this can be combining with a lip liner can help a little bit. And also I think doing a little blot as well can help. I think that shade is stunning. God, Gosh, and next to Candied Rose, I like Candied Rose. I still, I can still like Candied Rose and love this, right? That turned out beautiful. I thought it was gonna have a little more um, orange in it, but super pink, really great. All right, we got a red coming up here. This is 809 Wild Saffron, and it's a cream. I feel like I'm gonna love this, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> That feels luxe. Classic red tipping on the warmer side, I think. It's reminding me a lot of Besame's Red Hot Red, which is Marilyn's signature shade. Yes, and let's talk about blotting too, because that's how maybe we can get away with this cream lipstick and wearing it and getting a little better wear out of it. The Besame method is to put some on, blot, put some on again, and blot another time but even just one blot, okay? We've gotten some lipstick off, but still loads of color, gobs of color, and it's not feeling quite so slippy on the lips, okay? Although I do love the moisture. I love a Revlon Super Lustrous texture, but I'm gonna be careful about it if it's a shade that's really bright like this. That's dynamite love. I need like a super love pile. We now have like four different categories out here. Oops, I need a wet wipe. If you were wondering what I use, I get these Equate Sensitive Wipes. They're fragrance and dye free. They just take these lit colors off way better than a Kleenex would. I suspect this is gonna leave a little stain. It looks like we've got a red that's a hint deeper here with Uncut Ruby. David, were you wearing this in a recent Instagram video? This is 810 and it's a cream. Two more left after this one. Yeah, definitely deeper. Let's look at that up next to Wild Saffron. Wild Saffron is just bright singing. Uncut Ruby going in. Dang. Beautiful. I say it's cooler and a step deeper than Wild Saffron, but still plenty bright. I mean, we're not talking dark red. Just a notch coming down there. So which do you like yourself in? The cooler reds or the little bit warmer reds? The differences can be subtle, but they're there. I totally enjoy both of those reds. For my face, I feel like my coloring's kind of neutral. And you might say, well, which would you choose or in what circumstance would you choose one of those reds over the other? I'm picturing dressy, fancy, classic and going for uncut ruby. And I'm thinking if it's holiday, but a little more fun, I'm going with wild saffron. Two more left. Um, this is the last pearl. It's 812 and it's Porto Please and it looks like we're gonna be dealing with a nice deep berry, but interesting that it's gonna be in a pearl finish. I'm very excited to see this one. Ooh, looks pretty. Again, with the pearl feeling just a little lighter and more sheer upon application. And this pearl is subtle. What a classic berry. Mmm, love that. Here's my circumstance for this. I picture this with a chunky sweater, turtleneck style, 
hair pulled back, actual bronzy eye. That's pretty. And I think that's so wearable. It's not too heavy. It's not too terribly dark. That's a love pile. That's a love pile for me. Last lipstick of the try on my friends and it's going to be dark. It's a cream 804 Rumberry. And when I saw this in the box, I instantly thought of Black Cherry from Revlon. And something we always talk about with dark lipsticks is how they can have a range of looks. They can be applied on the full on end of the spectrum or we can lighten them up, blot them off, and make them look like a really pretty stain. Or we can struggle with the packaging a little bit. Oh, I, I truly appreciate this so much. The ability to have all these new shades and get to play with them and try them on for you. And like I said, these liners, these, these are going to be a story for another day, but they're called Color Stay Multiplayer Liquid Glide Eye Pencil with a little brush on the other end. So that will be fun. Okay, let's check it out together. Ooh. Oh, she's brown. Very brown. 90s deep brown. I'm glad it's a cream formula. I think a matte would be too unapproachable. So it's about the depth level of black cherry, but the absence of the berry reddish tone. More brown. Keep in mind I had a lot of red on, a little bit staining my lips underneath this. But there that is. I like it. Should I be in a really dark shade more often? Maybe you tell me. I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit like, ooh, this wouldn't be the first one I'd reach for, you know? Let's try a blot on this and see what it looks like. Trusty Kleenex here. Okay, blotting it off. Ooh. I do like it blotted, but keep in mind, I my lips wouldn't naturally have that much of like a, a reddishness showing through most of the time. But it's, it's a like. It's a like. So as far as my total wrap up on this goes, there were a couple of them that I put in my lowest rung and that is the Fire Peach. It was this kind of like milky coral. It's still, it, I, I felt like I pulled it off well enough, but it's just not gonna be something I'm reaching for often. And the very first one we put on called Afterglow, that pearl finish, you know, just okay for me dog. Next category over, like, but I get an infrequent use kind of vibe with these. And one of them is what I have on now, this Rumberry. I could be convinced to wear it more often, maybe with certain looks, but just not like an everyday kind of thing. And I also put Dirty Shirley in that category. I thought this was pretty, but I feel like I'm going to reserve that more for other times of year. I'm picturing bronzed skin of more motivation to pull for like a coral lip. So that's in that category. Next, really like these. Okay, really enjoyed the way these looked on. Whiskey Business and Laid Back Lilac. Both of these I thought were good shades. They were like our little bit deeper neutrals. Laid Back Lilac a little cooler. Whiskey Business a little more warmth. I liked them a lot. I think they'll be great basics and I really did enjoy the shade Candied Rose. This was the one where I was like I want to see myself in that kind of shade more. There's a kind of a basic nature to this one but yet a, a very pure pinky color. I like the amount of intensity. I really like that shade, but there are five. <laughs> there are five that just really got me. Daylight Delight. Do you remember this one going on? So it went on before those Whiskey Business and Laid Back Lilac, and so it's just a little softer than those, and I just felt like it was a really perfect everyday tone. If you're wanting to kind of be in that nude color family, I think it could pair really nicely with so many nude lip liners that I have on hand. Electric Melon, that pure pink with the brightness. That was where I thought I liked Candied Rose, but then I put this on, I was like, whoa, 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 I love this. Okay, that created the love category for us. Really enjoyed Uncut Ruby and Wild Saffron. Remember, Wild Saffron, a little warmer, Uncut Ruby, a little bit cooler, but both were equally gorgeous, I thought. I truly think Revlon knows how to execute on a good red lip. And then Porto Please. It's that pearl finish berry. Um, I wonder what this would look like, like a little splash of this mixed in with the brownish rum berry. Mm, I like that. See, I think that's what rum berry was just missing for me. A little bit of something berry reddish infused. But yeah, that's my try on and analysis for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what your favorites are in the comments section. Have you seen these out in stores on display already? Have you tried any out for yourself? Let us know. And thank you so much for your time, everyone. I will see you again soon. I love you. Bye. Bye. Last day of school before letting out for Christmas break. Yeah, I'll be here a lot more. Excellent. Maybe I can try some lipsticks on you, huh? Oh yeah, I'll be here probably.
<laughs> be your model. Okay. Ta-ta. Ta-ta for now. Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Love guys. You. Love you.